Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Trove. So in the last video we did adventuring and do you want to know what we're going to do in this video? I'll give you a hint. Okay, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so we have Bronto, the Boris, the blue dinosaur thingy, and hello, uh, Mr. Game AMV, cool name, but anyway, uh, so a lot of cool stuff's happened, as in, like, one cool thing, the other stuff is just what I've done, which isn't really cool, but it is to me, but I have exactly 23.3k power rank, which I believe is, like, uh, maybe 200, 200 yet, I was gonna say, like, 200%, but it's, uh, about 200 more power rank, I believe, it could be under, but the, the fact is that I'm at exactly 23.3 which is cool i did a lot of stuff as in like boosters and what i did was i believe this crit damage stat was at like <clears throat> i don't know 130 percent now it's at 177 I i'm pretty sure i put in like 50 of the bronze boosters into it so i think that took me like 500k i believe I have how much do I have 300k now I was actually at about maybe I don't know 30k but ever since I got patron I'm able to make flux again but th that's not gonna happen for long probably because I'm like the way how I'm getting my flux is I'm going through a normal what's it called normal spike walker because spike walker this week has really good rooms like the elite enemies and stuff and those drop a lot of stellars usually i'll get about one stellar every two or three runs if i'm lucky which oh oops <laughs> why do i not have bombs i don't even know that many but you know i don't have uh, um well, i don't have anything but they're not that expensive maybe like 5k which is pretty much 8k well well, 6k, they're, they're like, either 5 or 6k, and it, it's more than that, because you get about, how much, 2.5k, when you actually loot collect the stellar, so it is more flux, and, well, technically more flux in the market, <clears throat> but, look how much more damage I actually do, it, it's probably not noticeable, but, <laughs> well, of course it's not noticeable, I only went up by... 30, well, a lot of crit hit, but, uh, how much crit hit do I, crit damage, I mean, do I actually have, I, I don't have 100 crit hit, I don't know, but why, but I almost had 1.6k crit damage, which is cool. Hmm, <coughs> no, uh, stupid headset is stuck. Like, there's a little piece on my headset, uh, headset, <laughs> and it's stuck, it always gets stuck when I'm recording, because I'm, like, moving around. And all that stuff. So I gotta like put it under my arm and move it or move it around. It's it's dumb. What do we get? We got nothing. But to be honest, I should actually be doing towers. But whatever. This is cool. <clears throat> this is a this is a next generation right here. I probably should be buying more bombs actually. But whatever. You know, it's my go-to word. It's but. Today's go-to word is but. B-U-T-T. -T. Not B-U-T, just B-U-T-T. -T, because I am a but. I was actually gonna go on the pirate captain today or something like that, but I, you know, I remembered that, oh, I, I got more power rank on my shadow hunter and, and I gotta, I gotta show that off, I guess. Watch this. Eh. <sighs> Oh, I almost killed him. That was Shadow Mark too, so I'm surprised it didn't one-shot him. Am I weak? I'm I'm too weak, guys. Actually, that might actually be weak. <laughs> Not being able to one-shot those with a Shadow Mark. Or was it Shadow Mark? Well, it had to have been Shadow Mark, because I could see through a wall. Uh, you know, it would have been cool if it was just passive ability. <laughs> Shadow Hunter can see through the wall, but then there'd be way too many... Uh, Enemies that you'd be able to see, I guess. 
Well, it, it could be a really limited range, I don't know. I mean, that wouldn't really help you, but it, it's just something cool, I guess. I like when there's just floating blocks. I don't know what those are actually supposed to be. Like, I don't know if that generated with the dungeon, or if those are just, like, rocks that are, for some reason, floating in space. Space is in, like, open air. <laughs> as if I have to explain myself. So... Oh, actually, uh, what I've been doing recently, let me make sure I have the right stuff here, yeah, I do. So, what I've been doing is, uh, Conjurer's Vial, which, this vial is really good, especially if, if you're a patron, because, as you can see, it has a chance to recover a charge when your magic find triggers, and I get magic find trigger a lot. So, what I also do is, uh, what, um, I don't also do it, but... I don't know, I'm stupid. I, I Like, I've acknowledged I'm stupid, and I, I can't think. Especially right now, because I'm thinking of other stuff, and I'm, like, trying to think of what I'm doing today, because I just got, like, emails and stuff saying <laughs> interesting things that I have to do today, but whatever. So, what I do is, it's, it's not really useful here, but um, use a flask, and that, you know, that usually... Actually, I don't have the right stuff on. I have Beamer, but let's see. <laughs> I know none of this is making sense, and I can't properly form words. But as you can see, uh, Magic Find is triggered, so most likely I'm going to get the charge back. You don't always get the charge back, but it's such a high chance that it might as well be, you know, it might as well be 100%. And I have said in the past, but it doesn't have a cooldown so if magic fun triggers two times then you might well might you probably will get two flasks back this is why i use the uh these two things because you know the unyielding emblem how much like how much is it two seconds of invincibility which is really nice because you know obviously you're invincible you're not going to take damage and it you, by then, you're most likely going to kill what you're going to kill. And if it's a uh, curse Skulls or Kill 30 Enemies, you know, then that's irrelevant because you're killing so many of them that you're just going to get your health back anyway, you know what I mean? So, it's really nice. I mean, you don't need this strategy at all. It's not really a strategy. It's more like a my little setup that I use, but you don't need to use it at all. It's just something that I... Uh, I find really good, you know, because I can actually use a flask and not have to worry about it. There's a radiant, but yeah, I just don't have to worry about anything because normally sometimes I would actually die. I don't know why. Like I just would be like, I would take too much damage and I would just be dead. And it's like, why, why am I, why am I dying? It's just weird, because it seems like some enemies are just way stronger than others. I don't know why. Like, not even bosses being stronger. It just feels like some uh, basic enemies are stronger. Down the hole. You know, it's been a really long time since I've done this dungeon. I think it has. Like, I don't remember this one at all. Well, I mean, I do. It's like, I don't remember when the last time I did this was... Take the portal again until we get to the right thing. Here we go. And watch this. Death. Death. <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't registering. I mean, that's 9 mil. I don't even know if I was doing 9 mil before. Like a shot with a flask. That's cool. I most likely will be up to like 10 mil. You know, when I actually augment gems. If I augment gems, that is. But I don't know. Because I don't know if the devs are going to... Uh, for some reason, like, add a new tier of gems, like they're probably going to with the gear, actually. I'm pretty sure they confirmed that they're doing gear, like, uh, improving it, as in, you know, making a rarity higher than stellar, but I don't know if that applies to the gems, because if that does, then that's kind of stupid, unless they have a system where... Your, uh, your gems, you know, your stellar gems are, like, transferred. I don't know. It, it's just, if they do do it, it'll still be dumb. Because, you know, what's the point of, uh, 
you know, like, what's the point of having your gems fully augmented if there's just going to be a new type of gem? Which, you know, it's not confirmed or anything. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I'm hesitant to actually augment gems. Not that I really can. It's really expensive, but it's not um, going to be this much, but I kind of calculated, and it's like 10k is basically, uh, um, it, it's about like 10k per the rough focus. I don't know why I'm in the menu, but anyway, so, you know, it's kind of unfortunate that you can't see the percentage, but... This one was really low, and the main reason why I augmented this stat was because it was at about 30. I think I got it to 70%. I, I did use about 50 augmenters on it. I think I used more than that. I might have used like 60 or 65 or something like that. I'm pretty sure I, I also used about 3 or 5 of the next tier augmenters, but it's really expensive because I think... Oh, hello, Stellar, but to get one gem... Like, one gem, all three stats to fully augment, that's going to be well over a million if, you know, if you use the bronze, they're not called bronze, but that's just what I call them because they're brown, but, and the lowest tier, but, <clears throat> that it, it's going to be well over a mil, it might actually be like two or three mil, because... Uh, it might be one mil to get to 100, like, if, if a gem was for some reason... If a gem was for some reason at, I don't know, uh, 1%, <laughs> then it would probably take 1 mil to get that, you know, to get that stat to 100%. If you used the, the bronze things. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever they're called. Kill him. That wasn't even the guy I'd heard of Radiant. There we go. Give me a Radiance. Give me all of them. I want Radiance. What do you have? Ooh, I'm actually surprised that I got two uh, Radiance and a Stellar. It's nice. I haven't gotten a Stellar from Adventuring, like Adventure Worlds, I mean, not like Shadow Towers and that, but I haven't gotten a Stellar from these worlds in quite a while. So I'm surprised that I actually got one. Dead. <laughs> 68 mil, that's cool. I want to do a lot more. I don't even know how much more damage the Shadow Hunter can do. Like, I don't know anyone who has better gems than I and has them fully augmented. Like, I wonder how much damage Shadow Hunter can do. Like, just a basic hit. Because my Shadow Hunter, let me actually see. Uh, it's kind of hard because I don't know if they're going to be Shadow Marked or what. But let's see. Let's hit him. 3.6 mil. So. I wonder if you could do like 4.5, maybe just 4 mil. Oh, I don't have any bombs, but <laughs> maybe you could do that high of damage a hit. I don't know. Like, I don't have my gems fully augmented or anything. Maybe it's just barely 4 mil. That's still kind of a lot, you know, per hit with how fast that the Shadow Hunter even shoots. If it wasn't so laggy and, you know, it actually works, but whatever. This is going to be the last dungeon, just because I said so. I don't even have my phone to tell the time, but... Yeah, I still don't have my second monitor up. Like, I still don't have that cable thing. I ordered it, and it's like, yeah, this thing's going to come in, like, five years. Because for some reason, it is. But <laughs> anyway, that's going to be this episode, guys. I, I don't know why I'm, like, stuttering and losing my words, but... <clears throat> oh, well. So, see you guys later, and stretching, and goodbye. <laughs> eh.